so look what just showed up. We got performance mods for the mini bike. What is this? Um, well, I used to drive this in the water a lot, so I put this cup over here, and uh, I mean it works because you used to hydro lock this thing a little bit. Anyways, so let me get in the box. Let's, uh, let's open this up. Got the uh, throttle cable. Nice. Uh, air filter. And as far as I know, this should be the manifold. We got that. And comes with hardware. And then we got the main thing, carburetor. Right now we have air filter, carburetor, uh, gaskets, manifold, bolts, and drop cable. So you want to take a flathead and take off the air filter. Like that should come off pretty easy. So we're gonna take a 10 mil deep socket, take these bolts off. I'm gonna take this off. Uh, the old stuff, I don't really know what you're gonna use it for, but uh, yeah. Um, these these gaskets you're not gonna need either, so you can just toss it with the other stuff. And then also, you're gonna want to remove the governor in this. I probably will do that. And uh, next, you want to take a 8 mil and remove this. Uh, this whole thing, I don't know what it's called, but you want to remove that. Something else that I did not do before, you want to take the throttle out, or the throttle cable out, like that. This, don't need any more. Put in the junk pile, which is right there. Not junk, but you just don't need it anymore. Next. You're gonna want to take this cable thing out. Like that, that, and then now this should just slide right out after you take the fuel line out. Of course, which I forgot to do. Now this tubing, I will not need later on. Like that. Now this should just come and slide right out. Also do not need that anymore. Same thing for right here. There should be a black little piece. Just slide that right out. Like that. You do need to take these bolts off. I just forgot to do it earlier on. So I will be doing that right now. All right, so when you take the top off the carburetor, uh, there's gonna be a spring. You're gonna take that out, put it somewhere that you can bind it in, and then slide this part out. Then you wanna take the top, slide it in the throttle cable and put it in this little rubber boot at the end of it. And you're gonna take your spring, slide it in, just like that. Then take this part of the uh, carburetor, slide, slide the end in through like that. Let the spring fall. Then you're gonna to want to match up the little big knob with this uh, bigger indent in the carburetor. Slide it down, push it in, and then uh, screw it on. Also, when you screw it on, there should be no like tension. It should be a nice smooth uh, like screw on. So you got your carburetor hooked up. So far, so good. All right, now you're gonna to want to take the manifold carburetor and then you're going to want to match the holes up right there and then make sure there's no rubber or gasket showing. So they, uh, they sent me the wrong bolts so I'm just going to use these standard ones. So I got it like that and now I got the bolts in and I want to match it up so there's no gasket showing. All right, then get your gasket. You're going to want to match, uh, match up the D size or the D shapes as I'm struggling to do. Gonna match it up and then screw them in. All right, top of the throttle. Take a hex key, at least for me, and uh, unscrew it like that. Then you want to continue screwing these out till they come all the way out. And it's gonna be coming in two pieces, one like that, the other one looking like this with the throttle. Then unscrew this all the way. 
I made these cuts on purpose for the other cable that was too big for it to fit. And just slide this right out. Now we take this cable, slide it through here. Should look like something like that. Now this piece uh, didn't have enough room for it, so that's fine. And reassemble it. It's got the nice snap too. All right, so that's good. Now I will tighten this all the way down. Next, I have to take that bolt out and take the gas tank off. We're gonna take an eight mil and then uh, get it off. The next is gonna be a nut right there and a nut right there you wanna take those out. Now once you get those two bolts off, you now take the gas tank off. Just like that will slide off, now you have full availability. All I'm gonna do is just take this arm off and let it just be there pretty much. Take a 10 mil and then take this arm off. So take your side cover off. You are going to want to take your chain off first. All right, take that off. 13 or a half inch. Socket, take your clutch off. If it's already off, good for you. And that clutch is off. Take any spacers off. So next, take your side cover off. It is a 10 millimeter. One, two, three, four, five. Also, as you can tell, the seal did not come off in one thing, which is what I was scared of. This little thing, how it pops up. That's your governor arm. I'm gonna take a Dremel and then cut it off. All right, now that I got that off, just slide it right down and out. Boom. Then for this next part, I like to take a bolt and I'm just going to thread it in there. Okay, that's there. Now I'm not gonna take this wheel out inside of there because I don't really wanna have to deal with any more stuff. Now I guess uh, put the cover back on. Now that you got your cover back on, you can now put everything back on that you took off uh, beforehand. It's all set to be put back together. I'm assuming you guys know how to do an oil change. All right, I'm gonna say that's, uh, I'm gonna say it's good for oil. Put the tank back on and then get the fuel lines connected and uh, we can go for a rip. We're gonna see what happens now if we try to start it. All right, so this is choke.
All right, so after a little bit of driving with this thing, with the uh, carburetor on, and holy crap, <laughs> the amount of power that I gained is just crazy from just simple carburetor and gun removal. Sorry if I mumble my words or sounds different. My cheeks are really cold. Also, I put the gas tank on. Uh, I figured I didn't need to film it because, you know, it shouldn't be that hard to put the gas tank on and uh, just do the fuel line and all that stuff. So, yeah, 10 out of 10, 100%. Recommend it. Have it on all the carts here um, in the Mini and in my cart too. So, 10 out of 10, recommend it.